The following movie is rated R. Welcome to Mutant Year Zero, The Replacements. Thank you for joining us as we try to survive the wasteland. If you're new, please take a moment and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Also, be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment so we know how we're doing. Thank you, and welcome to Mutant Year Zero as well. All right, so let's get it started. Um, just... So everybody knows, I don't know who all was here and who wasn't. Uh, I'm considering our first session, basically session zero. Just kind of get you guys familiar with each other, introduce your characters to each other, kind of get you into some combat, let you know how that, that rolls, because some of you did not, uh, have not played this before. So sort of familiarize you with things and uh, make sure everybody was okay uh, and could, could kind of navigate around okay. So this is really kind of our session one. We are going to pick up uh, right where we left off. So for the people viewing, we're going to let them know uh, kind of what happened. Uh, basically, if you've been watching, you know that our other group has become stranded on a, an oil rig somewhere out in the middle of an ocean or a body of water that they can't see the horizon. So we're not sure how or when they're going to get back. But they've been missing for a while, so the Ark uh, is concerned that maybe they their mission failed to uh, basically take the fight to the pirates, and so they're concerned. They're they're really worried because obviously the the pirates have the ability to uh, unleash some terrible terrible uh, weapons uh, on the Ark. So they have amassed this group here that we have tonight to head west with the mandate that they're to go at least 20 miles to search for a suitable location to possibly relocate the the Ark if need be. Of course, the hope is that they don't have to do that because the Ark is a, a fantastic place that they stumbled on, but um, the concern is, is that it, uh, the, the pirates may uh, be a threat that's significant enough that they need to move. So, again, this group's been tasked to go out. Uh, they've made a little bit, uh, made some ground to the west a little bit, and they, they've come across uh, uh, kind of an underground sewer or bunker setup that they've kind of uh, dove on into. Uh, there were some uh, zone ghouls that were trying to get into it when they stumbled on them. They did take care of them quite efficiently and uh, are now kind of moving through there. They've come across some pods that had, uh, you know, some spiders in them. They, they have battled a few uh, large spiders uh, down here at this point. And that's kind of where we're at. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and have everybody introduce themselves again for the uh, listening audience here. We'll start with Anna. Just uh, tell us a little bit about your character, and uh, uh, we'll move on. All right. I am, all right. I am Anna, killer of spiders person who puts stuff together but also recently it's been more taking things apart and yeah nice what's your actual class that you are i am i am a forget the gearhead that's it yeah Gear, gearhead, I am a there gearhead. You go. excellent Arch, go ahead and introduce yourself. Arch is a new player. Arch did not play in our first session, but uh, uh, one of the persons that we thought were going to be able to play, it's not going to work out with their schedule, so uh, Arch stepped in. 
Howdy. Um, I'm playing Chronicler Thorn. Um, they just really like writing stuff down, and they're probably going to be doing that this entire uh, session. Uh, you know, when time permits. Um, they are, well, a chronicler. And, yeah, that, that that's about it. Fantastic. As far as, uh, for game purposes, we're going to go and retcon and say that uh, uh, Thorn, uh, is that right, Thorn? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Chronicler Thorn has been with you uh, to document your travels uh, from the beginning, so we won't have to go back and get him or anything like that. Um, Lucy, 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 Lucy. <laughs> Uh, I am an enforcer named Tequila Lee. I go I go by Lee. I got a set of beautiful butterfly wings. I believe that uh, I owe a debt to the party for, you know, the work they've done around the art previous. So uh, I'm here to pay up on that debt. Nice. Okay. Uh, Mutt? Yeah, Mutt's just... Uh... Normal guy just trying to do what he can for the Ark with his dog, Junkyard. Uh, Junkyard's the friendly one. <laughs> okay. Remy? Uh, Remy is an animal mutant. He is a deer, and he is the group's stalker, and the only one they have. And this is his first, literally the first time he's been out here, so he's going to have to learn real quick. <laughs> L little skittish, too, I noticed. Yeah, not super into shooting people. Funny that. It's off to your boy. All right, and uh, for now, lastly, we've got Scars. I'm Scars Guard. I'm a bear. I hit stuff. I'm a grunt. Don't really like talking. All right, so that's our group. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. We'll get them on the map here where they were hanging out when we left them. And I may have missed it, but uh, Thorn, what does your character look like? Um, they they were like a neat like duster cloak that they just found somewhere in like a ruined clothing store. I think. I think desert apparel, I guess. Okay. I'm assuming you're a regular mutant. Yeah. Okay. Carries a spear. Kind of a different different weapon than we've seen for normal. That's I thought that was kind of cool. Well, I got a lot of axes. Here. <clears throat> okay, so here we are. Let's I gotta get uh, I do need to get Chronicler Thorn here. Make sure you can see everything. I don't think I can. Wait, oh wait, there we are. Yep, just have no. to make a couple of quick quick adjustments here, and you'll be good. There you go. We've got a uh, torch right here. And... Uh, you were deciding which direction to go when we had to end our last session. So, wait, who just, wants to just take the lead? We came from the right. Just remind. We came from the right, right? You came this way. Yep, from yeah, down this weird... this tunnel right here. Yep, the exit gotcha. back that just way. Just want a reminder. And uh, Mutt, you still have my gun, if I remember correctly. Right. Yes, that's correct. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. It's like, eh, I put a note here. What does this mean? <laughs> okay. There are sewer sounds going here. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I believe it's right here that you had uh, dispatched a couple of spiders uh, with extreme prejudice and efficiency. And uh, just need to know which way you want to head from here. All right. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, so? Up, up or down? Oh, What's yeah. the plan? Right is right, baby. <laughs> I love it. All right, all right, so go ahead. You you all should be able to move your tokens. Uh, let me. Yep, uh, Thorn, you can move your token. Yep. Okay. Good. Yep. Go ahead. And as you move, your dynamic lighting should reveal what you see. Uh, if you don't bring a torch with you, you won't be able to see. So don't forget the torch. Oh yeah, we should get the. Oh yeah, I think I was hanging next to. There's Randy. another hallway here. I do not have yes. a torch. This one right here is a little bit more of a crawlway than a hallway. You can't quite stand up in it. You almost have to basically get on all fours. Scars is actually okay. a tight fit. It's kind of like uh, basically a big brush going through a gun barrel when he goes in, if you're going to have him head that way. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, Anna's looking around, just just eyes. Eyes Remy. How do you feel about going somewhere? No Stalker has gone before into this into this crawl space. Poorly. Very, very poorly. Do <laughs> you have any other volunteers? I'm not doing it. If somebody passes okay. me a torch, I'm down. Uh, okay. Anybody okay. got one I, willing to share? Well, uh, I, got... I think you've got a, a supply of them. Somebody was carrying some, I'm pretty sure. Remy has some. And you can light another another one if you need to. Oh, if you guys are serious about doing it, then alright. They'll light another one. Alright. Oh, Who wow. has the torch right now? I don't see it. Oh, there uh, it is. I think it's underneath somebody. Yeah, here it is. Okay, I gotta be on the... All right, Moved it out do... in the middle area. Like the corner. There you go. There should be two of them now. Okay. Make sure you mark those Wait. those off. Wait before before you go. Sh should I can send something down to see if there's anything. If anything's waiting for you on the other side. Send send something down. You say. Yep. Uh, yep. Anna takes out the skateboard that she didn't scrap for parts. Okay. I, I just. Yeah, I can just yeah, I can push it down, and uh, if we hear something attack from the other side, we know not to go there. Gotcha. Good idea. Okay, so you. Wait, I really wanted to, really want to learn what the ancients called an ollie, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like yeah. a more efficient use of a skateboard. All right, so you set right. it up there and kind of give it a shove, and it rolls down and platters off the end, and. Uh, you don't hear anybody say "Hey, what?" or any kind of a. It sounded like it was ruckus. like a steep drop. No, no, like... it uh, sounded like it dropped maybe the same distance that it's is here from the ground, on the other side, okay. down that down that hallway. That's like, good that enough. Three feet. feet. I'm sorry. What was that? So it said like maybe two or three feet. Uh, probably more like three, four feet, but yeah. That's fine. All right. What, what am I looking at? Got a... All right. So you've got a bed here. Looks like some sort of makeshift kind of bed here on the ground. Uh, you've got a just kind of like uh, something that you're using for like a stand or something to set stuff on. Or maybe a, even a chair. You're not real sure what it's used for. And you've got a door here and a door here. Which can be unlocked or can be opened if you want. Or actually, they're already open. Pardon me. Okay. I'd, I'd like to call back. The, uh, well, nothing so far. Looks like somebody's living in here. Yeah, now when you peek in this room, mm -hmm. you'll notice there's some chains on the wall here. Looks like something may have been chained up in here at one time. And it's just kind of, again, some of that makeshift bedding in here. I'd like to dip my head back over here. It's, uh,. It's not good. <laughs> Bad people. Bad people. There's chains uh, on the wall. You try and remove the chains. I can use that to make stuff. All right. So I head up here to see if I can give him a little tug on the wall. 
Yeah, go, go ahead and give me a force roll. Right. If you remember, if you need help with that, There's let me know and I can help you walk through it. All right. So I click you. And then roll that. Hey. Okay. So no successes. You're welcome to push that. Just remember that if any of the uh, biohazard symbols come up, uh, you'll have to take temporary damage on that stat, your strength. I don't feel feel too strongly about it. What's this? Uh, what's, what's this fella down here? The uh, stuff on the ground. That is uh, looks like books. I, I'm gonna go on a limb and say I'm not literate, am I? Uh, your arc is actually literate. So yes, you've actually got a school, and everybody has a basic literacy of the ancients' language. Excellent. All right, do, do a quick peruse. What's the the general theme of this stack? All right, give me uh four percentile dice rolls. Okay. Uh, let's see here, ninety two. Wow. Cyrano de Bergerac. Bergerac? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Yeah. Uh, is one. The Divine Comedy. Uh, Call of the Wild. And Animal Farm. So all kind of ancient classics, it appears. Okay. I'd, I'd like to pick up Animal Farm, uh... And, and toss that back down to some of the animals, thinking that it's something that they would enjoy. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm helpful. I just sort of pull. I just sort of pull pull it off the chute. Uh, are you interested in something called Animal Farm? What's the farm? Animal Farm. Oh, also, oh, also, Lee, could you pick up my skateboard? Oh, I, sure. I don't want to lose it. Give it a little toss back down the hallway before I dip my head into this one. Skateboard. And a little torch. Yeah. All right. So it looks like there's it looks like there's some kind of sewer system back here. There's a few other doors and stairways that we could investigate. I'll go ahead and start start heading back out of the hole. And you bring the the uh, skateboard. Or you already t tossed the skateboard back, did you? Yeah. Okay. All right, All right. I'm in. Howdy. Hey. Hey, Cherry. Uh, real quick, give me a mic check for me. Mic check. All right, excellent. Uh, and for the... For the listeners here, uh, what what is your what is your character? Hi, uh, my character's Cherry. She uh, basically just a uh, average nineteen-year-old um, uh, buff um, has teeth exposed, acid spitter, um, and she's also what is it, enforcer. So she there got a go. nice That's battle axe. Right. All right, so mutant enforcer. And, uh, yeah, let's see. You're already on the map, so you're good to go. I don't see anything. You don't see anything? Nope. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I need to move you. There. Okay. I can see. All right. All right, where do you want to roll out to next? I guess I'll peek around these corners, too. This one here? Yeah, let's see what we got. We got some more egg sack boys. Get them all on fire. Burn them. After last time, all of them burn. Okay, so they, they, they combust really well for you when you touch the torch to them, and you see hundreds, if not thousands of little baby spiders burning in there and uh, squeaking and carrying on. 
that already makes my skin crawl. Disgusting. Feel no mercy. Well, the curve directly ahead of us, or yeah, I guess that would be straight from where we're coming. That would lead back to the, the little sewer system I saw. Um, so do we want to check out the other way before? Uh, we're going to the. Yep. Jerry can see there? that there's a gate. Is that a closed gate? Nope, it's open. You can go through that door, no problem. Oh. Seems to be well, things on the table. Yeah, there's things over there. Feels like there's people. Maybe maybe this way. Are those parasols? What are those? So you've got a you've got a fire that is burning in the middle of the room. Uh and it I mean it it's burning down, so it hasn't been tended to in a while, but it was one that was it looks like it was meant to be going for for some time. It's just but it hasn't been tended to properly. Uh there's all sorts the of stuff on the table for, here. Yeah. And let's see like here. That. Do I see anything good? Well, let me look here. I'm gonna get you a roll here in just a second. Okay, so in Discord, you've got uh, some scrap here, and it's, this is kind of all in this room. I'll put it in the uh, see. chat here also. It looks like meat. Okay. And in addition to just kind of uh, this general junk that's in this room, uh, the food that you see on the table is uh, spoiled and rotten. Looks like it's been eaten on by rats, and it's got insects all over it, and it's been there for a couple of days anyway. I'll take the welding mask. Dang it, I uh, wanted the welding mask. <laughs> hey, but my face looks cooler with the welding mask on. No, no, you're right. Uh, the, hot, uh, the hot dog cart, does it have wheels? Can I take wheels off the hot dog cart yeah it's like a uh kind of a small one like you it's not like a cart like you would roll think of like uh one of the counter things that would roll the hot dogs and cook them it's kind of what that's at that is oh yeah I'm, oh yeah then i'm taking the wheels okay kind of like the the spinners on it yep i can okay. use these so <laughs> she she grabs the the Santa mask and gives it to, to Hina. Like, here. This looks like some terrifying uh, goblin man. The, <laughs> I, I, the ancients were truly a strange bunch. Yeah. Bunch. I do like the Santa Claus mask too. too. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, I have an idea that I want to do later, but okay. Alright, so you see some some uh cases of something over here and then you'll notice there's some some beds up in here too and this is like uh like some sort of umbrellas here looks like they were using it to kind of keep some of the dripping water off their heads that's nice i'd like to grab that booze and kind of hold it up to the light see if there's anything in it Like, I don't think you want like sewer booze. Sewer booze. They want su sewer alcohol. Well, we can use it as fuel, so... What is a dose of booze? Like, <laughs> also, question, are there actually beds over here? Yes, there are actual, like... Uh, I, they're not like a bed, like a four-post bed. It's like a pallet oh, like where they've cot. laid down bedding and stuff, and they've got sheets and in uh pillow oh i see another fire now when you root around through here um you find tiny trinkets of stuff kind of like uh you know it's what the ancients used to use as money their coins they're these small metal round discs that uh they called coins and 
Uh, there's You find little bits and baubles like that. Maybe you find some marbles, a couple, two or three uh, marbles. You find uh, what they used to have was folding money. Uh, it's like some paper money. You find a little mirror. Just little stuff like that uh, in, in the bedding there. What you would consider kind of like small personal effects that somebody was collecting. Um, can I search the crates? Yes. I'm gonna hold the phone. Let me take that poncho. It's gonna look sick. The poncho mask. The poncho has some powers. Uh, what? That Hold that'll on, actually what? give you a, a a plus. Well, it gives you one dice of protection against rot. Damn. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know ponchos oh, were wow. this, this fancy. There's oh, power in the put poncho. in my equipment. Armor? Uh, it, armor? No, just write it in your in your items, and just say that you have one dice. Uh, 1d6 versus rot. So if we come across right. rot, I'll let you roll 1d6. If you get a 6, it protects you from the, the, the rot point. Or one rot point, anyway. Let's see. Notes, I guess? Yep, in the notes is fine. Alright, so the crates, you start popping those open, or taking a look inside of them, and it's canned food. Ooh. We hit the jackpot. It's a pretty good store yeah, of food there. You... Uh, there's probably, well, let's just roll here. We're going to say, there's 71 rations of food there. Holy. Oh, we, yeah, yeah, I think we need this. We definitely got, ro we left the carts on the outside. No, we definitely got robbed at this point. Yeah, we need this. Do so, I? Uh... Who needs it? Can you just share it? To share it. We need this. So I mean, everyone would get seventy, but then there would be one left over. Everyone Everyone I mean, would get seven. Everyone seven. Everyone yeah. would get ten. And you're right, okay. there is another fire down around this corner here. I'm gonna Move up with um. Okay, give me a scout roll, uh, Lee. Oh, you got a success. As you're, as you're kind of entering this chamber, and there, this sort of smoke in the ceiling and stuff, and you're, you're sort of just checking things around, looking at your surroundings, and you're like. Uh, something doesn't look right up there. Um, and as you are looking on the ceiling, kind of where the smoke is gathering, you're thinking, that something ain't right there. And about that time, you see the, the firelight glint off of what looks like about eight eyeballs. And uh, you uh, see a spider on the later. ceiling. Oh, no. Feel it. Um... So, um, since you spotted it, I will give you a free shot at it uh, before we go into uh, turn order. All right. Don't mind if I do. Um, so I remember how to think that. Okay, attack, scrap axe. Okay, so you're going to move close mm. enough to hit it? With an yeah. arms, okay. All right, so that's three damage. Ow. Ow. Spider said, "Ow, kill oh, it!" With your massive damage. All right. Hey, I blocked one. All right, everybody roll for your initiative. Make sure your character, your your icon is selected, if possible. Oh. 
Yeah. What are we okay. adding to the initiative rolls again? You're going to add your agility to your initiative roll. So if you okay. can't add it on this turn order over here, let me know and I'll add it for you. And that's after damage. So I have two hits to my agility, so I would put in two, not four. Correct. If you've got temporary damage to your agility, you can't you gotta take your current score. Okay. All right. Oh, then I would be five. Three. I think I did that right. But I'm not popping up on this. Thing. I'm going to try that again real quick. You wanted to send the result of this roll to the turn tracker, but no valid to... Oh. You need to select yourself first. Did that work? There you go. Yeah, there we are. And you rolled a six, so what's your uh, agility? Uh, my agility is uh, four. Uh, so that's, oops, that's going to be 10. And I had a 3. Okay, do we have everybody on here? Looks like. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you, you see... Wait, you don't, uh, have, wait, you don't have me on this. Wait, you don't have me on this. Okay. I should be 5. And I'm sorry, who am I talking with here? This is... Oh, uh, Anna. Anna? Okay. I'll add you. And you, what was your combined role in agility? Oh, my combined role... Oh, uh... Five. Okay. There we go. Okay, actually, uh, so, uh, Thorn, you see uh, Lee run in and uh, basically take his axe out and take a swing at something that's up kind of on the ceiling. And you hear, mm -hmm. you hear something respond as it's obviously hit. Um, and as you're kind of looking, you, you spot it also now. There's a spider on the ceiling. What would you like to do? I would like to move forward and stab at it with my spear. Okay, so you can easily move up into this area here, somewhere in here. I'm going to move uh, right here. Okay, and do your stabby stabby. Yep, give me one second. Roll. Okay, so you've got one success. Mm -hmm. Damage a two. Already? And I get to roll my armor on that, which is not much, but take it. Oh, wow. So you see chunks of this thing's, like, exoskeleton chunk off as you plunge this spear into its side, and it's, it's writhing around. Obviously not happy about the two points of damage that you just doled out on it. Um, and it is looking weak. It's not... Uh, doesn't appear to be quite as spry as it used to be. Alright. Uh, it does get to go next. And it's uh, kind of moving in on you, Lee. I want to see you try. Yeah, well, it's, that's about all it's going to be is a try at this point. <laughs> A pathetic, terrible, terrible try, because I am hurting. Oh yeah, it misses. It it you notice that it was very sluggish as it tried to try to do that and try to get at you. you gotta be quicker than that. Yeah. All right, so uh, next is uh, Cherry. Cherry, you can pretty easily move in here if you if you'd like to. Yeah. 
You gotta switch the turn order. The... Well, you can just look down at two. It the arrow look. thing on the bottom. What did I do wrong? Oh no, just switch the... the turn order. Yeah. To go to the next person. Oh yeah. But... yeah. Sorry. So like, there we go. It's on the floor, right? Uh, it yeah, it's kind of. It, it's on the ceiling, but it's it's moved down the wall now, I guess, to, to get it Lee. So it, there's no blocking, so you can move right in here. Uh, I can use my slingshot. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah. Yep, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Now shoot it through the fire into the face of the spider. Right in its beady eyes. Okay. Yeah. Right between the eyes. Can I do that? Absolutely. Will it get a fire bonus? Oh, you're hoping to catch the, the projectile on fire? Yeah. It's probably something that isn't flammable. Unless you uh, pre... Yeah. But we can talk about that later, about pre-prepping something like that. All right. How do I roll this slingshot? Okay. So let me pull your character here. This... So, okay, the attack button. Yep, hit your attack button, and that'll populate your dice pool there. Um, looks like it didn't uh, give you the plus one for the gear dice, so the little uh, black gear dice give yourself a plus one there to the one dice. And I roll again. And that's... Now you hit the roll button there, the big red roll button. Okay, so... The sling you missed, okay, and the the little uh, explosion there on the black dice means that if you push it, the sling will break. Now you'll still get the shot off, but the sling will break if you uh, the slingshot will basically will come unraveled or whatever if you if you push it because that that means you're gonna have to take damage to your gear on that one, okay? Wow, uh, that asshole yeah. who I killed gave me a shitty slingshot. <laughs> Who'd have thought? <laughs> now okay, you, do have, you do have you do have a gearhead here that can repair it. I yeah, you know. Just just give me some time for it later, and I'll fix it up. All right, so if, if, I, if I push, you basically eliminate the the gear dice, and you just go back to the four base dice and the one skill dice. So, uh, do I just click a roll or attack with the slingshot? Uh, you can hit the attack button, that's fine. And it'll populate your dice pool. Yep, right. and it leaves the one off, so go ahead and hit roll now. There you go. Okay, so you pull back, and as you let go, the you send that thing flying, and it hits the spider, but the you notice that uh, it also, the the rubber breaks or something when it when it goes through. And Spring snaps. It's, yeah, yeah, it's... it's it's broken, so you're not going to be able to uh, use it for the next round. But uh, it did it did get uh, the job done for now. So let's see what we get with that. Uh, down on my luck on my armor. Whoops, that ain't right. Try that again. No good. Well, that you send that that ball flying. And that uh, goes right through its little beady eyes, and that's going to be the end of it. You want to tell us yeah, how that looks? How that looks. <clears throat> so, shoots it through the fire, and yeah, I mean, obviously, it won't notice it until it's already in its face, and it uh, just hits it through the the side of the head, like just one one eye out the other. Nice. Okay, so that is a killed in action bug. Throw it in the fire. All right. Through the starts, fire. It starts uh, cooking and smelling. Yeah. Mm. All right, who's our gear head? Spider meat tastes good. Does Who's the, taste good? 
I would yeah, not there's... eat spider meat, no. There's some areas yeah, that they do yeah, eat them. That smells... that smells rough, though. <laughs> All right. So, oh, that Cherry, Cherry will toss her slingshot to whoever the gearhead is. Isn't it Hina? That or... would be... That's yeah. Anna. That's Anna. Okay. That's Anna. Right, so go ahead and do a jury rig roll. She tosses it. Oh, uh, also, a uh, question, GM. Yes. Remember last session we said jury rig takes an hour, but since this is like a slingshot, can we say that? It. I, I don't. Less time? Yeah, it's not it's not a hard fast rule that everything's going to take an hour. Uh, this is something that you know it's it it probably just came unraveled or something that's a little more than just tying it back together. Uh, you've I know you've been picking up little bits and bobbles of stuff along the way, and uh, so this is like a 10, 15 minute fix, and you could probably even work on it while you guys are walking down down the the tunnel here. You're kind of working and getting it set back up. Hey. So he nice, and I'll use know. the extra point. I'll use the extra stunt to just make sure that it holds together. Yep, can it's you... going to be good, good and firm. So I was going to ask you if you can break. make it into a one of those Beyblade uh, shooters. What is it called? The prepper? No, you know what I'm talking about. I'll get if you want. I'll give you some lawnmower blades so that you have other ammo. Oh. Okay. But I can't really add any. I can't mechanically. I can't add any. I can't add any additions. Damn it! I, since I'm using the one stunt to make sure it doesn't fall apart after five minutes. That's okay. That's right. still good. He's got. He's got his his weapon back, and we're good to go. He's back in the game. All right. Uh, you gonna keep moving down the down the road here, so to speak? Down the street that we. Boom, 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 boom. So, is this more beds just under us here? Uh, yeah. You see, all along the wall there, you you find places where people have been sitting and kind of hanging out and doing their thing. You know. Uh, Absolutely. What's in the crates? Which hey, crates the are we talking? Part? These here. Uh, Oh, I meant these here. Oh, those there? Uh, it's it's not really crates. Uh, they've they've brought in, like, um, stepping stones and stuff to kind of step over areas that were, uh, uh, maybe had holes and things like in it. Oh, all right. Not on this way. We're going this way. I'm just kind of wondering. <laughs> this is a very uh, what is the word? Unsettling is the word that comes to mind. <laughs> yeah, accurate. Uh, ah, what was that? Like, I just moved the map to center it up for uh, the the recording session. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. GM's shenanigans. I guess we're semi-splitting up because the others are just like well behind me, um, Lee, and... Oh, you guys are I keeping, they're keeping up. They're I think keeping it's, up pretty good. I can't see because the torch is way ahead of us. I mean, ahead of me. Sorry Remy's about that. Other, Remy's got the other <laughs> I, one He's holding on to it. Yeah, I don't know where the other. I don't know where the other torch is. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Remy's got it in the back. Yeah, there he is, keeping up the rear guard. I can right. hear. It. Okay, yeah. Now it's back. Second torch looks. Mm. Like it doesn't work. It's working. It's a torch. <laughs> oh, looks a, a bit more put together in here. Yeah. So this is a looks like a a little more formal kind of area as far as uh, 
what whatever was going on here. Um, best you can tell, it's a little desk and uh, stuff like that. It looks like somebody was taking the time to kind of write some notes and things like that, do some sketches. Notes, you say? Yeah, they were looking for. Uh, yeah, kind of kind of notating stuff around the area. Uh, looks like they maybe were doing a little exploring. Whoever was had this little this little area here, and um, you'll notice in this room here, it's um, a a little armory of type, of sorts. Oh, what do we got? Let me let me grab that torch. Yeah, Rumi's Rumi's coming up. What we got going on oh. here? So scrap uh, looks like a little area to eat here. It looks like in another place where they had somebody maybe tied up. But this this Some room right place. here is is sort of where they had the armory at right in here. Okay. And can put together for some cool What's in here? Well, let me tell you. Behind door number 1. <laughs> Big right. money, no ways. Let's see here. Where's my weapons list? Here we go. All right, so you find a. Uh, where's that? Here we go. A bicycle chain. All right. Here, let me. I'll, I'll just put it. I'm going to put it in the in the chat actually. Why is the text so like light? Last knuckles to base. And brass knuckles two baseball bats and one bat with spike. So bit of a tangent. What are are there any rules involved with like dual wielding things in this game, or would that just be a no no? There is a specific talent that gives you a um, the ability to attack with both one-handed weapons, but it's at a negative for both. Otherwise, I think if you're trying to attack with, like, let's say you have a pistol in one hand and a brass knuckle in the other, you can only do one. Got you. Do gotcha. one at a time, though. Oh, they got a scrap rifle, though. Anyone want that? I look at my axe, and I say that I am content, and I walk along. For everyone else to share that. All right. Kind of want the bicycle chain because now that I have a bicycle chain, I already have a bicycle chain. And if I have two, I can make one longer so that I can I can attack from a distance or use it like a like a longer bicycle chain. Bicycle chain. I'm gonna take a scrap pistol, just one, so I, like I have it just in case if an enemy's like super far away and I can't reach them with my uh, spear. Just so you, you can't throw to... a spear. One, yes, you can. Two. This is weird. I thought this would be like full of stuff for ghouls, but this is like actual mutant people stuff. We're raiding someone's home, you guys. Yes. Well, clearly, De that someone is not here, because they're spiders. I think the spiders might have gotten to them, Remy. Yeah, probably. Well, there's a lot of bones in room campfire, too. I, I don't know how old are bones. Well, there's no bones in there. Uh, it just oh. looks like they... they uh, it is fresh enough to know that they had somebody chained up in there. Oh, I'm at the campfire room. Oh. Where are you at? Back where we killed the spider, there was, like, piles of bones. Oh, oh, oh. 
back way back here I don't remember saying anything about bones but okay I thought it was just like some bones grapper's home I'm gonna start I'm gonna start crawling down this way and, and looking into this little tunnel this one right here yeah d dipping my head in here all right there's no it's not a tunnel it you can walk there okay okay Ah, uh, what in the world? What in tarnation are those? Some sort of uh, piping. And actually, you look at it, it, and these right here, uh, it's some sort of pipe that runs up, and then it's got, like, uh, they, they bend over and around the top, and it looks like maybe water would come out of there at some point. Okay, okay. Huh. A uh, question, uh, how deep is the sewer water? Well, you're going to step in and find out? Uh, or stick something down okay. in it? All you can't right, see the right. bottom. Well, this is why I have it. Yeah, you can't so see you the can't... bottom, so you, you can't tell. Okay. All right, well... Good thing I got a spare bicycle ch chain. Okay, so. So, just let me look through my items, because I think I can do something. Just test this out. Okay, uh, what are you, you going to do? Waiting for my Roll20 character sheet to load. Here's going to knock oh. on this door. Hello? Knock on a door? Oop. Show me where is that yeah. at? Right here. Okay, that door is open. You don't have to knock on the door. Unless you're just trying to get somebody's attention. Yeah. Hello. Wait. Oh wait, yeah, I'm just gonna stick I'm just gonna stick one of the curtain rods I took. I took to see if it can reach the bottom. Okay. Yeah, it's about uh Waist deep, so about four or five feet deep. Yeah. And you say you're you're down here, yeah. you're knocking on the door, and you're saying hello. Yeah, just to mess with them. Well, we know what you sound like. <laughs> well, knocking on the door, you don't know what that sounds like. Saying hello does though. Oh, I say hello after you. I feel open like we're kind of. <laughs> we're kind of breaking the don't split the party rule here. Yep. Everybody, stop where they're at. We're rolling initiative. Oh, why? Oh. Why did you poke the water? Nobody move. I want to say you poked the bear, but you literally did. We have an actual bear, and you didn't poke him. That's racist. It might be insensitive. Yeah, that might be insensitive. All right, so remember to select your, your token. And plus two. And this is a much larger one than you've dealt with so far. Oh no. Oops. Got another five. Okay. All right. So let's see. Lee, what'd you end up with with a roll in your initiative? Uh, six total. Uh oh. Uh, oh no. Uh, let's see. Anna, what'd you end up with? I got a five total. And you're not on here, are you? No. Why? Because I am. I sh it should show. I, wait. I should be on my token, so it should show me. Just give me a second. Uh, Cherry, what'd you roll total? Uh, it should be on my token. That's your... But I got it. With your, uh... So the roll was six initiative plus in your... my... My agility. Fantastic. Mutt? You got a six total? Yeah, six total. Remy, yours is a six total? Correct. Is Scars on? 
Not yet. I'm here. Oh, yep. Okay. So 10 total there. And Correct. then Anna. Okay. Also, if you want to add my icon to there, you just have to click... You just have to double-click my token, and then at the top it should be Add Turn. Okay. Well, we'll work on that later. Uh, uh, Scarsguard, uh, you hear behind you uh, kind of clicking on the, on the concrete about the time you hear Junkyard uh, burst into a bark as he spins around because he... Here's something behind him. Go ahead and roll for Junkyard also, uh, Mutt. Yeah, um, he just has ones for attributes, is that correct? No. The dog has better than that. What's the dog doing? That must have failed to fill it out. Hi, I'm back. Um, what is happening? Being attacked. Oh, wonderful. I leave for see where two minutes see. and we're in. That's what happens when you leave for two minutes. All right, I'm going to have to look this up. I believe the dog has, like, what, four agility? Or is it four strength and six agility? Something like that? Right. I'll look real quick with you. The dog has a strength of four and agility of six. Yep. That's with a skill level of one. Um... That implies that if you have a higher skill level, you can improve your dog's stats. It doesn't directly mention that. I just think that one is for when you get the one point in it, that's what it spawns as. Hmm. Okay. As, uh, yeah, that would be kind of busted if it got more powerful than that. Yeah. All right. Cool. So there we are. We've got Junkyard on here now, too. Junkyard's going to act pretty quick, too. Uh, I apologize about that. That's all right. Scarsguard, you roll out first. Like I say, you hear the dog behind you barks uh, an alert, and you hear this thing, and you look, and it fills up the tunnel, this huge, giant spider. It's quite large. I'm going to go beat it up. You're going to go beat it up. I love it. Short, sweet, and to the point. All right. Hit me with your best shot. Fire away. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. gosh. Oh, shit. <laughs> <clears throat> That's unfair. Oh, shit. What the hell was that? Oh, I just spit out my Coke. Holy shit. I told you I was going to beat it up. Apparently I should have <laughs> oh brought three. God. Apparently I didn't read the memo and I should have brought three of these to the fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Are you, are you good? Is your, is your boss about to get one shot? Okay, I block one. So that's two, three. I assume the other two point or two successes. Your stunts are going to go to damage, but you tell me. Of course it's damage. Why would I pick anything else? You <laughs> suck. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. This is great. All right. So it is visibly oh, shaking. Wait, 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 wait. I would like to also burn an animal point for huge to deal an extra point of damage. <laughs> All right. roll, roll the the d6 may may the odds ever be in your favor <laughs> oh. you know that balances out, balances out. oh man this, bro oh man 
Well, he gets to pick either a new mutation or animal power, but he's also about to go murdering us, so it's great. Yeah. Yep, good. Very good. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Where is that at? Mutations here. What do we... What bad things happen? Well, I can pull it up real quick. If you, yeah. you suffer one happens. point of permanent trauma. Uh, you choose on, which but... attribute is affected. Oh, no, no. We go to animals. animals. It's an animal doing it, so it's a little different. Um, okay. Also, I would like to point out that huge, the huge trait uh, is done after my attack is successful, so I don't think I'll get the the point for dealing the one, you know, the extra point in there, but the four damage is going to go through. Oh, yeah. Uh, your, inner, your inner beast takes over completely. You lose those the ability to speak and to use tools. It must either flee or go berserk. Your choice. If you flee, you must attack anyone trying to stop you until you find a place where you can be alone. If you go berserk, you must attack everyone in near range, friend or foe, in close combat. This effect lasts for D6 hours or until you are broken. Ah. Uh. He also gets the ability to pick a mutation or animal power. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, right. guys. I, I can't run. Uh... Oh, oh well, the spider in front of you that you can hit first. Yeah, he can he can beat on that first, but okay. So everyone give the everyone give him a wide berth. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, well, that was interesting. Uh, let's see. Who do we got next? Anna? No, Cherry. I'm, no. It's, no. No. It's Cherry. uh. Why do you not have a name tag on yours here? Who? There we go. Oh, Cherry, it's yeah, your it turn. Tag... It was in the way. It's oh, like getting it was really big in the way. But yeah, I, I'm so, sorry. Like, I gotta I gotta have the name tags on on this stuff yeah. so I can tell who I'm talking about until I get familiar with you guys. So, so like, all right, she probably hears a lot of bear noises. Oh yeah, you you hear the ruckus going on. You you hear? Oops. Yeah. Let me get my measuring stick here. And you can very easily make your way up into this, this ruckus here and still attack. Alright. Well, like, can I just take the this deer's antlers and then pull them behind the door slowly? Nope. Sorry. Damn it. Wow. You, She's you gonna... Wanna, you wanna grab Remy? Yeah, I was going to grab Remy and just hide him from the bear. Because <laughs> bears like to eat deer, obviously. Hex the know. soft she deer boy. Yeah, Cherry doesn't know how animals work. Uh, okay. Well... You, you've been around animals for a while now, so you you would have a pretty good idea how they, they operate. Um, but uh, basically you want to put yourself between Remy and the action? Yeah, she just... Uh... Just you go behind here. Door. Get in the door. <laughs> all right. Do you want to resist that at all, Remy? I don't think he knows that our bear friend is currently looking to go pile driving people yet. So yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, you're gonna resist that then? No, he's not. Until oh, okay. he figures oh. out something's actually wrong with bear friend, he's not. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah. I, I'd say that's going to be your move, but I'll still let you attack oh, if you've got a ranged attack. I got a slingshot. I can. Uh, can I, I can't see the spider from here. Okay, if you can't see the spider from there, then then you can't take the shot. Um, all right. Uh, so just okay, I got to aim. All right, junkyard the dog. So the spider's still up, right? Oh yeah. Missing one eyeball that came sloshing out with the bat that he just got hit with, but sloshing. definitely looks definitely looks pissed. It's a fun word, sloshing. Uh, junkyard will attack the spider. Okay. Let's see a junkyard dog roll. All right, I so that's a miss. That. All right. So junkyard's down. Then it's the spider's turn. 
All right, so I'm going straight for the bear because that's the one that like rang my bell pretty, pretty heavy here. Are we safe? All right. Uh, do you have armor, Scars Guard? Uh, yes. Also, can I use my shrug it off at all? Yes, you'll be able to use that. Uh, that's. I don't think that's a skill that requires thought, does it? Probably not. I, I think, think it's so. only a restriction on tools, so he can still use yeah. natural abilities. Yeah, absolutely. So, do your armor first. I got one. Actually, I'm sorry. That's uh, three points of damage. I don't have any armor in my character sheet, so I, I guess I don't have any. You didn't you didn't have any tire armor? I, I mean, I should, but it's not on my sheet. Well, you need to correct that, because you guys didn't leave. You guys had an opportunity to get everything you needed, and that would include armor if you wanted it. So unless you just, it's against your character, and you don't feel like your character would have it, you would have the tire armor, which should oh, be Oh, no, I'd absolutely have armor. Okay, well, then you should have a three, point, three points of armor. So go ahead and roll that and get it on your character sheet. Okay, so three points of damage that you got to shrug off. Hmm. I'm going to burn huge to negate one. Okay, burn another point. Got to roll that again, don't you? That's much gooder. Okay, so two points of damage. And also take an agility point, one point of agility damage right away. Done and done. Uh, yes, the the spider. Even the smallest bite from Arachnus Dethicus will instantly paralyze. Oh, get it off! All right, Lee. Dethicus. So do, does Lee know where this thing is right now? You hear you hear a, a ruckus is all. You're not sure where it's at, so, um, you know, you hear you hear noise coming from down this way, and it sounds like maybe something back here. You can make it to this corner right here if you want. Go back. You can go forward. All right. Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave my boys. I come running up and I make it to the okay. corner. All right. So you there you go. That's what you can see then at this point. There's shenanigans going down this way. Yep. Can you see the can you see the spider? Not Let quite. I just see the back of Scar's Guard's dome. Yep, then you can't see the yep, you can't see the spider yet. Um you could make a second move, but that will be your entire turn at this point. Well, but I'm gonna I'm gonna guard good. this little corner, because if we get pinched it's gonna be a bad time. Okay. Alright, cool. Uh, you can hold your your attack if you want, and that you can be used as a defensive maneuver if you need to, okay? That would be fantastic. Mutt, your turn. Uh, I think I'll shoot this thing. Now listen, Mutt, don't feel like you have to kill it this round, okay? And then he'll roll literally all sixes. It would be really cool if one of my creatures made it more than one round. I hear having push. more than one helps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, ever heard of the action economy? Or I guess in this game, in this case, the maneuver economy? All right. You going to push that? Oh, no. Nope. Oh. All right, so there's your turn unless you want to move. Yeah, I think I may want to kind of uh, hasty retreat or a uh, strategic re retreat. There's this cool little closet you can get in right here. Right here. And hide if you want. Mm, I'll just <laughs> back up a little bit. <laughs> All right, Remy, your turn. Well, unfortunately, I literally... I can see the back of Scar, Scargar's head. 
And Tully's being messed up, but people are getting in front of me and wanting me to stay back. So for the time being, I'm just going to kind of poke my head out around here just to see if I can see anything. But I basically can't see beyond this point. All right, you're going to hold an action for a defensive maneuver if you need to? Yeah, basically. All right. Anna, which way are you going to run? All right. You know, I said back. I might as well. I'm just going to go. Go forward. forward. Okay. And I'll use second maneuver to get. Jeez, oh, sorry. My, my thing being a thing. My thing being a dick. Okay, so you're moving through. I'm moving through. I'm basically just using both my maneuvers to move through here. Okay, so you got. Basically, you can get I, get sorry. to about. About right in here. Trying to move, trying to move my token, but it's not letting yeah, me. Yeah, you got it. You got into uh, the dynamic yeah. lighting and got hung up yeah. there. All right. Yeah, I just yeah, I just use all my movement to get up there. I'm holding out, just holding my scrap axe in both hands. Uh, uh, does anyone know what's going on? You hear? Uh, yeah, I'd say several people are yelling at you about it. I can just, yeah, same deal as everyone else. I can, well, I guess I am pro, I, I guess I might, I can't really see because, like, I would be able to see it past Cher Cherry and Remy who are kind of obscuring it, but I can just kind of vaguely make out the back of Scarguard's head, Scar head, because that's what I see. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Okay. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. By the way, give me a D6 roll, uh... Scars guard, we gotta see how many turns this lasts. How many minutes? It's minutes now, isn't it? Uh I know we made some changes. The base book changed it to from days to hours. You can change it to whatever you want, just you know. Whatever you feel is thematically appropriate, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna say minutes for that. Which is I mean it turns just a few seconds, so yeah, we still got a little bit of berserk time to deal with. Yeah, we got a little berserk in time to deal with, don't we? All right, so, uh, Anna, that's your move. Chronicler Thorn. Mm -hmm. All righty. Um, so I'm wanting to move, like, here. I still can't see what's over there because um, Torch is not over here. With Um. Oh. So yeah, that's, I don't know. That's... Yeah, I don't know if I can see the thing or not because the torch isn't over here. Unfortunately, no, you can't. It's too dark up in that hallway. You can't can't make it out. Alrighty. Um, I guess I just go back over here because I don't want to deal with strange bear noises in the dark. <laughs> All right. Forget the spider. We're all scared of scars. It sounds like my. It well, sounds like my indie band. Strange bear noises in the dark. <laughs> Give them a listen. Has an illegible logo. <laughs> One of those ones is like someone scratching the walls. Like, yeah, that's our logo. <laughs> uh, their their number one hit smash. You know. Scars guard. We're back up to the top with you. And you're you're in berserker mode right now. And your two targets are junkyard, the dog, and the spider. The spider. Are you sure? No. <laughs> um, All right. Let, let's see it. All right. Let's see that nasty roll. This is gonna suck. Donkey turds. <laughs> How many woods are you rolling? Oh! Oh, boy. Is that he bad? Can't push, yeah, he can't push that. Because he got two ones there on the strength. If he, he, Well, actually, he can push that, but it will break him. He will go down. Which I guess would end the berserkerness, if you want to roll. You know what? I'm not going to do that, because I'm standing right in front of an enemy who would coup de grace me if we don't kill him this turn, so, uh, oh, no. Oh, no! You know I wouldn't do that to you. 
<laughs> <sounds a> little... <laughs> All right. So no pushy pushy. On to make that joke. Barbarian. I love it. All right. So literally. Cherry, your turn. All right. Let's see. I get closer. If I can see. Oh, that is a big spider. Yeah. It's too bad there's a bear in front of me. Can I just like the the say... bear will not the bear will not uh block your line of sight, so you're good to go. Okay. So uh can you like do a whistle for your dog? She just like says to, you, to you can actually you can actually shoot over the top of the dog or or stand in here. Yeah. There's enough room to get you in I'm here. I'm just asking if he can save his own dog. But yeah, yeah. He's gonna slingshot the the spider above the dog. Okay. Like sit behind this corner, I think. No, no, I can't see the spider. Like there. All right. I can Slingshot see it's, away. It's leggy. It's little leggy. So uh, let me open this. Attack. Plus a black die. Or what? Uh, what what are you attacking with? A slingshot? Slingshot? Yeah, that's a plus one. So. Roll. All right, you hit. Excellent. Yeah. Three damage. Woo, oh, that's, what the hell is that? That would be in. That would be incorrect. Let's try that again. <laughs> what was that? Oh, phew. All right. We missed. Okay. Oh, that, right. yeah. that was scary oh, for a minute, sorry. though. <laughs> wow. I was yeah. just seeing if you all was paying attention. All right. So yeah, you see the you see the little little rock actually goes right through the the outer armor of it. You kind of find a spot where it's between the the legs and the body and you watch it just kind of go poof, into this kind of soft material and it it flinches and kind of all of its little beady eyes look at you uh junkyard it does not see me i'll um i think i'm gonna bring junkyard back to me okay all right now I'm the one that's close to the grizzly. <laughs> All right. Is that it? That's junkyard's move. Yeah. Okay, spider time. All right. Well, I'm gonna attack the big guy in front of me. Down to it. Please don't kill the bear. No, I, I, I'll be surprised if I, I kill the bear. I think all of us will be. All right, that's three points coming at you, Skarsgård. Okay, so that's two points coming at you. Make sure you... Degrade your armor by one point. Mm. Two points of damage. That will put me down. I have okay, no so... points to burn for huge, so... Okay, so you are broken. Uh-oh, that's kind of high. 43. It's not instant death. That's not instant death, but it's going to hurt. Uh, critical injury is 43. Yep. That is a punctured lung. Ooh, that's not good. It is the top of the starting to become lethal. You have D6 days to fix it. For the time being, is a negative to negative 2 to a We have some... Move. One of us have empathy. Did, someone... Did we get someone with high empathy? Because, wow... Okay, so that's you got six days to get that fixed. All right, Scars Guard is down. Yeah. 
Oh, he, his rage ends. <laughs> yep, that's <laughs> bonus. Bonus on that. So, There's an upside. Lee. There's an upside. All right. So, bum, bum, what's my what's my movement? It's like thirty, right? It's twenty twenty five feet is typical. Wow. Yeah, and you can move. Yeah, so you can get right up in there if you want. Absolutely, I'm running in balls. Take take my little torch with me. Huzzah! I love Am I it. Able to make it all the way to him in here. Yeah, I'll give it to you. All right, big bet. Yeah, I'm I'm running in. I'm jumping over the bear. I'm I'm slapping him with the axe. I can see you sailing through the air with the wings kind of fluttering to help give you some flight. <laughs> God. Oh, thank God. That would have been anticlimactic. Ha-cha! Three points of damage. All right, let's see if my armor helps. Go to sleep, uh, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Did I lose some armor up here? I did not. Did not, so... <laughs> I point behind the spider. Hey, look, over there. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Hurts. Three points of damage. You come flying in through here. You jump over the the big furry ball that's on the floor. You swing and you take both hands up on that axe and you just plant it right between its eyes, as the eyeballs kind of quiver and look in at the blade that's now embedded in its head. The legs give out and curl up below it, and it dies. Do uh, several um, cocky poses and flexes as he do. <laughs> All oh. right. So we are out of combat. Oh, I'll be right. Back. The bit. All right. Oh, I'll crap. tell you what. That's a good. Down. That's a good place to. Let's go ahead and. Uh, let's go ahead and take a. Just a five minute break here. Let everybody use the restroom and stuff. Yep, still here. Fantastic. All right, so you've just displaced my big ugly, and you've got uh, Skarsgård is on the ground, uh, not feeling good. By the way, Skarsgård, from that second attack, you need to take another agility damage as well. Uh. All right, so... Does anybody have any healing talent that might want to work on the the big bear that's currently we laying are, on the ground? Uh, we are about to try, but before we do, um, did anyone take pick up the flag that was in the last area that we found stuff in? Uh, no. One second, then. Um, we are going to head back there and grab it uh what's the condition of that flag um it's in fairly good shape tell me what you're wanting to do i mean it, it's rip it, it in the strips to make a bandage out of it yes it, you can absolutely do that yep okay we're gonna do uh, uh, i'm gonna yeah. i'm gonna hand rem uh, i'm just gonna take one of my water rations and just sort of and just sort of pour it over the flag disinfectant but this is the best i can do okay okay um yeah we're going to try that first so does the i've got that and i've got some i've got actually some suspenders that could be used to hold the bandage to him so do I get a, is there any way I can get a bonus out of that? Uh, yeah, I'll give you a plus one for your, your makeshift first aid kit there. Okay. Someone should inspire him. Yeah. Who <laughs> does one do that? Chronicler? Yep. You have, you have a particular skill right here that could really help out. Oh. Yeah, inspire. Um, who's healing? Remy is. Remy. Okay. I'm also, question. Question. What's what's he? 
Do you have any medical skills, Chronicler? Um, it, Chronicler. It, yeah, his skill is actually even better than having healing skill. Oh. He 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 has the ability to encourage you to do better. And yeah. if he if he rolls any successes on his inspire roll, that's automatic successes for you. So you already have one success, Remy. Okay, uh, let's see here. And I got a bane. I forgot what I do with that. Uh, as long as you don't push, which it doesn't sound like you are, nothing right now. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, perfect. Okay. Oh, I also just remembered something. Um, the armory thing down here, I think. Right here? Yep. Uh, did anyone want to take those bullets? Well, how about we... One thing at a time here. Let's get, okay. get your, your bear done first, okay? Good idea. Uh, I'm an old man, and I can't I can't multitask very well, so... Uh, all right, so Skarsgård, you get two points back. Now, I don't believe heal will work on your, your agility damage, will it? Or does it? Mm, no, but I can definitely try to, once again, suck out the poison to stop him from taking constant ticking damage off from it. All right, Jonathan, let's see. Please see that heal. Our friend again. Uh, what? Wait, what was that? You need to, we need another inspire, inspire roll. Yeah, just as a oh. point of reference for you, um, inspire only helps if it's done before the roll is made. It can't. It shouldn't be done. Yeah, that's why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying inspire now, please. Okay, rolling again for inspire, I guess. Yay. Good, another Yay. plus one. Okay, so two points of two points are healed. We'll say that's probably fudging a bit, but um, the poison is out also. Okay. Eh, I have to do this twice in one day. <laughs> Somebody's gonna have to floss or something. Most empathetic. Uh, are did, we done being in did here? You Can just we lick please? Me? Be... I had to. You were dying. Okay, so I what don't we... think I was dying, but okay. <laughs> he just very calmly. <laughs> of a punk, buddy. You had a puncture. You still have a punctured lung. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, the critical is still there for six days while it heals. Well, it's a it's a two d six for the um, the first d six we roll is how long it take for it to kill him. This, you need to, I think it's a 2d6 for total healing time. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, you stopped uh, You stopped it, didn't you? But a, Yeah, page. for 43, yeah, teeny, someone needs to roll a 2d6. Well, that'll be me. 10 so days. Once, 10 once, days, once, you once. have... Dang it. Uh, let's see. Negative 2 to endure and move. Ain't that fun. Okay, this was great and all. Can we go? Like, please? Yes. Mm. Well, this tunnel should... Well, is there anything at the end of this tunnel? If I have to suck out poison one more time... Everybody's time going really to bed without dinner. To do <laughs> <laughs> Does this right. larger sp spider have anything that can be used to make a shield? Well, now, that's an interesting question. Does anybody have Hunt? I uh, don't think so. I don't think we have a Hunt. Uh, butcher, perhaps? Uh, butcher might be able to get chunks off that might be usable. I uh, can uh, Acid Spit it. That isn't going to... No. Yeah, that's no, probably not going to work. It feel <laughs> bad. <laughs> Let's see, what else could maybe be used here? Um, hmm. I, I'd let the jury rig person maybe try to peel some pieces off. I'm going to say you're at a minus right, one. Let's try. So, right, whatever you're. Try to jury rig some shit. Yeah, so wait, whatever wait, wait, you're. Wait. 
won't be a minus one because I have the inventor ability. It gives me a plus two whenever I'm trying to make a new object. Okay. Well, you're so not it, trying to make a new a plus one. Okay, so hold up a second. I'm trying to make a shield, right? A shield no. From spider. No, that's not what you're doing no. initially. The first thing is just trying to get pieces off of it that are going to be usable to make a All shield. Right, yeah. And that would normally be a hunter roll, okay? You're not a hunter. So sure. you're going to roll your, just your Damn jury roll. rig roll by what? itself with a minus one. And hey, you ace that. I'm seeing two there. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing, that's three. So Anna gets to work at this thing, kind of gets to carving, and you'd think that Anna butchers for a living as quickly and deftly as she whips this thing around and gets this knocked Dude, out this and, an has, axe. and has uh i'm gonna say you've got three good pieces of uh spider shell for lack of a better term that you can take back to the ark and someone can craft into armor most likely um uh, or anna oh, wait, you can keep keep hold of the stuff anytime and you can work on getting uh that made into something but that's going to take a little bit of time to craft so put three giant spider uh shells or this something is... like that on your on your sheet okay yep. now um is there anything else you want to loot out of this this room before you move out or wherever you're going i do um one, I would like to take a scrap pistol and, like, five bullets from the armory, because I don't think anybody took any of those, and I just want to have a ranged weapon just in case. That's not a problem for me. That's fine. You're going to take this... you say scrap pistol? Yep. I already looked at the book and added all the stats and stuff. Fantastic. Okay. Um, and then I'd like to go up here to this... Uh, the desk up here because you said that there were some notes and I want to read through them a small bit. Yeah, you can collect those up, and it uh, looks like it kind of details uh, some of the area around you. So what that that stack of papers does is it's going to give your stalker a plus one to their role in this region. Nice. Okay. Eight. So. Uh, uh, let's see. Remy, you're the stalker, right? Correct. Yeah, so uh, write down that you have um, handwritten notes for the eastern region. And um, you get a plus one when you're rolling for this area. All right, so are we going deeper or are we leaving? No, we should leave. If we if we have what we need to make a shield for me, then I have what I want. We can leave. Yeah. What's everyone else think? I already voiced my opinion. I didn't want to come down here anyway. You're hearing a whole lot of "I told you so" coming out of out of Remy. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. He's had to suck out so much poison. <laughs> Today, I mean, where are we? This is not what he signed up for. Not exactly. <laughs> wait, that's for sure. Wait. Okay. All right. Wait. Wait. Do you think this count? This is a giant sewer system. Do you think we could move the arc down here? No. I mean, if we cleared out all the spiders, possibly. No. 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 We are not moving into a sewer. That is not happening. Why not? It's fine down here. It's filthy. It's filled with more, probably more spiders, and there's not enough room for hardly anyone down here. It's definitely not big enough. I mean, people have lived down here before. Yeah, like a dozen tops. And we died. have many, many, many more than that. Okay, well, it's... And I'm pretty sure that like this is like the set. This is like probably the best place if we don't find anywhere else. It wouldn't work. We need to find a much larger building. The park we have now is a multi-floor, I guess, lab or something. It's a bunker. Yeah, it was a bunker. 
so yeah, we can't do that. Not to mention we wouldn't have any power or water or places. Well, to we have things. water, it's a sewer. We just need you to can't purify drink it, right? that. Um, like I said, yeah, we yeah, that's why I have a water filter. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, the place is extremely well. It's quite small, so yeah, it would not fully work, you know, long term. But I mean. Temporarily, probably. Okay, idea. Idea. I. Okay, what are you saying? Idea. We don't turn this into a backup bar, but this is still a good space. It's defensible. If we I like, heard uh, the, I heard all about the, the council last takes ten like of some that. sort of fortress. The answer is no. That's not going to work. We need to find some place much, much bigger. Wasn't the instruction also to find a place at least a couple miles away? We're nowhere near that. Good point. A saying was not to make this the arc, but to maybe this is like this is like a good defensive location. Maybe we can make like some sort of fortress. Yeah, like a scouting thing. You know, like a. Scouting a, a scouting area inside of a sewer where you can't see outside, and we haven't even went through all of this. There like a could be out, stuff. like a traveling point, a camp, a safe haven, a small one at that. We can mark it on our map, but it's not our main mission. We should move on. And Skarsgård is just going to start walking <laughs> to leave. All right. Alright, fair enough. Alright. You know, no, fair enough. I want to explore this place, but fair enough. Let's go. What What are you exploring? We are I said, I'd, I said, I was saying I personally want to explore more of this place, but the consensus seems to be that we're leaving. So, okay, we're leaving. Well, it's not, it, there's nothing that says you can't come back later, you know? Yeah. 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 For now, we're leaving. We're leaving. Yep. Okay. Start moving some tokens. You we actually have to move to the Yeah. Alright. I don't think the torch is uh. working for me exactly. Yeah, I don't see any torches. I'm just moving... Like, I can see well, the torch. Yeah, but I mean, like, yeah, it's the, not... Yeah, the torch... Well, you're looking at the torch, and it's it's gone... Basically, it's almost out. It's almost oh. burnt out. I think it was this way? No, it was down. Out here. We, we should then... really... We should light up another torch. To the right... Uh, Lee, Lee, you coming with up? us? Oh, Lee had to, Lee had to leave, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. All right. Wasn't this on fire before? Did we yes. Take that out? Yes, it was. Then why is it out? Made sure of it. If it's a fire burns out. <laughs> this is where we saw the bones at. I don't know if this is just yeah, a detail on the map. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yep. Right. Okay. Yep. If fires burn out, then why was it on fire before we came here? Right. Maybe the spiders put it out. I don't know. So you notice right, that these these, these beds, um, the the little trinkets and stuff are gone. Oh, <laughs> someone was She's here just... while we were here, whispering. I was right. <laughs> oh wait, I just remembered all the food here. All the food here. Yeah, yep. remember the crate that had seventy one things of grub. Yep, the food's gone. I we were robbed. Have taken the rat. Uh, well, no, we weren't exactly robbed. We found it. So, Remy, people. this door in front of you is locked. I noticed. They unrobbed us. Oh no. So wait, the door is locked. Remy tries to kick it down. Locked. Okay, you do one point of damage. You it, the dust kind of comes and you comes off the door and you can kind of see it. You know, bent in the frame a little bit. 
I'm gonna take my axe and swing. It's a metal door, so just FYI. Okay, then. Okay. Well, I guess we're stuck here. You put another, kind of hit it up around the, the frame, and you you get some spacing in between the, the door frame and stuff. You're doing damage to it. Yeah, I mean, I could do my thing. Unless you got that. What thing? Oh, that's right. You can spit the poison. I have uh, acid. Yeah, you can try that. All right. All right. Like there's she, there's she, three she, points of damage to the door. It's she lifts her her welding mask and like looks at the like what is there like a a handle a lock what is it? Uh, yeah, it's it's a uh, like a prison door to some extent, kind of a full metal door. All right, so she can just spit on she, the the lock hole and it it'll open. Probably. Or the, the hinges would work, too. Yeah, no, so the hinges hit, will require me to hit two places. Or uh, you, places that, I'm hinges. not going to be... Uh, we're out of combat. I'm not going to be splitting hairs like that. If you want to just spend your, right. mutant po spend your mutant point, okay? Yeah. Click that mutant point off, and then I need a D6 roll to make sure that it does. you don't have the same problem Scarsguard had. All right, so I, what, send it to zero? Uh, yeah, if you, you would have only had one point to start the session with, probably. Mm -hmm. um, and then just roll a d6. And you don't want a one. All right, so let me see. I don't add anything else, just one d6? One d6. This is to see if your mutation backfires. If you look in the... In the journal, you'll see a you kind of can read about uh, mutations backfiring. All right, what is the what do I write to roll it? Uh, on the left side of your screen, you should see a little d20, a little dice icon. Click on that, and that'll come up with a d6. You can just click the d6 then. 82. Sorry, left side. Oh, d6. Four. All right, no problem. So you you spit yeah. on the the key points on the door, and it sizzles and kind of carries on. And after a bit, uh, the the lock mechanism gives way, and you're able to open the door easily. Yeah. So and you, uh, just don't let me touch the red stuff. There you go. I just sort of door. <laughs> Yay. I did a thing. Yes, you did. Are these eggs still burnt? Yeah, they're all burnt up. Uh, I think that's the wrong way. Yeah, this way. Yeah. Very short. Everyone, hold on. Uh, okay. Uh, Pretty sure I'm near that tunnel. All right, well, let's keep going. I thought it was right. No. I'm pretty sure it's this one. What is over here? Uh, pretty oh, sure it's the hole that, um... I don't remember who exactly it was. Um, I think Remy is correct. Um... I can't remember the name. I'm sorry. Mo uh, not moth, a uh, butterfly wing person crawled through. Oh, here we go. I think this was the exit here? That is the exit, yep. Uh, You're able to climb up and out there. Quickly now, because I'm getting worried. Okay. And then a giant spider attacks us from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, seeing as how we were I'm locked in there. It's more likely to be people. All right, so I'm going to move you to the outside map here. And let's get uh, Chronicler. 
out here. So, Ooh, big icon. And I guarantee our food was stolen. I All right, so the there is the question of what is, what was on your cart, carts. Probably most of our food and water and bullets. Yeah, well, that would be all... most of the stuff on the carts. Actually, you know what? Scratch it. Uh, yeah, everything that was on the cart and the carts themselves are gone. Yeah, we got robbed. Should have took the carts with us. It's on Not us. sure how you would have got it? them down down that hole. That's a big hole. We, they're not huge carts. How long were we in there? Did the carts leave tracks? We also took a ladder down. Oh. We couldn't get a cart down a ladder. And I told you we shouldn't have went down there. How long were we gone? We should have hidden the cart before we did go down there. But I stand yeah, by the decision to go down there. It's dumb. So you've hey, been down uh, there for probably close to two hours at this point. Oh, yeah. By the way, is I there can... like any tracks nearby? That's what this arrow cart, is. Because I mean, there's a, the carts leave track, so yeah, the cart left a big arrow on the ground. I see. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh wow, yeah. That's that's very. Uh, Where's Cherry? I I, did, I was not zoomed uh -oh. out enough. Oh, I'm still. I got temporary again. Oh, I can't see anything. Still, we'll fix that. Who who can't? I can't. Uh, Thorn. Oh. All right, we'll fix that. Boom, shakalaka. Uh, there we are. All right. Cherry, let's see here. Let's pull you out from over here. There you go. No. Sorry, I grabbed you. I was grabbing the token. All right, so. Yeah. Cool, you guys are going to head west? I'd say so, yeah. That's where the cart, that's where the tracks lead. So, yeah. Okay. All right. It's a good thing they're not smart. All right. That was just one square, goddamn. Yeah, you, uh... One squares are more... Yeah, that I mean that one took a while because you were down in a complex, and you actually only maybe looked at a quarter of it. There was significantly larger area down there to to check out, but yeah. it's okay. I mean, sometimes you, sometimes it's it. sometimes it's just a good idea to just not be where you're at. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're carrying spiders, you know. All right. We showed those giants. So, yeah, uh, you're here. Just lead us west. You want to head west? Yes. All right. So, yeah. All right. So, your stalker oh, needs to move the you are here to show me which way they're going. All right. Then I need a roll. Uh, yep, you're gonna... find the path roll. Yep, I got a compass, which is a I think a plus two. The zone and map you... is a plus one. Don't forget your little maps. Yep. Yep. Plus, three plus the five. notebook that we found in the sewers. Yep. I'm adding yep. it. Okay, you find find the path. All right, so uh, you do have a success. Uh, this is a kind of a swampy area, foul-smelling zone water here. Uh, you can kind of see, you know, submerged what was homes at one point, and uh, you know, even just walking across the the, the ground, your feet are kind of getting wet from the the moist ground as you kind of sink into the the soft dirt, um, and. Uh, you're just kind of in this swampy ruins here. Um, what would you like to do? Keep following the tracks. Okay. Need our stuff back. Do, does anybody have a scout roll for me maybe on that? Uh, I can give it a shot. Okay. 
Who ha who has a scout roll? There we go. Hey, hey, look at there. Not pushing that though. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. So yeah, you're able to keep. Not only are you finding your your path fine, but you're also keeping keeping up with their their uh, keeping up with their tracks. You're you're, and it's it's actually I probably should have given you a plus in this soft dirt and mud. You'd have seen it pretty easy. Uh, where to from here? Uh, where are the tracks heading? Uh, they continue directly west. And that's where we're going. Okay, move your little token. Ooh, all right, you've got some extra extra this time. Uh, let's see here. I need to put that on there like that. Um, what do you want to do with your two stunts? <laughs> well, since it's becoming a thing, I can check for rot first. Okay. I, I'm not going to implement that until we have some, you, Josh, and I have some time to talk about it, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't want this to become a. I. I just. I want it to be something f fun. And if it's gonna suck the fun out of it, I don't want to do it. And we'll. So let's. Let's you, Josh, and I talk about it a little bit offline, and we'll see what we can come up with. Okay. Okay. Um. um if not so, that. Yeah. You don't have to. You don't have to search for rot at this point. Okay. Okay. Um. We can. Yeah. Can I tell if these tracks are getting fresher, like we're catching them, or? Uh, you are gaining ground. You figure you're probably an hour behind them at this point. Okay. Um, what time is it currently? Yeah, I was just just figuring it out. I made this really cool chart where I have the twelve hours of the day and the twelve hours of the night. And I actually hashtag it off and keep track of your days for you. You're about four hours away from nighttime, so you can do another full search at this point of a zone. Okay. Well, at this point, again, I want our stuff back. So speed. And you can quarter it, can't you? Uh, yes, actually you can. So that actually gives you six hours of the day left. Yeah, we're, we're gonna quarter. go here as fast as possible. Again, I want to back. Okay, so move your to your next one. That is not explored then. Yep. Okay. Same thing. What are we on here? We're on May twenty-three. Okay. Uh, what are you doing with this extra one? Uh, I think singular speed. We should be about to catch them here. Yep, you're about to catch up. All right, so that's um, two two hours then standable. it takes, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, so. All right, so got about three hours of the day left. Um You do get to uh, call that one explored. This mm -hmm. one you don't because you did the super speed through. Mm -hmm. Let me check something here real quick. Because I did that backwards. Also, I wasn't going to bring it up right at the time. I figured that it might be best to wait until we rested. But when do we want to talk about my new uh, animal ability? We'll we'll hit that up here just directly, because uh, we're about to catch up to this group here. Okay, save that. And we are basically high twenty three. Yeah, go ahead. I basically only have three options: uh, furry, uh, predator, or herbivore. Did we want to do that at random? Uh, you pick animal powers. The random yeah, is pick, the mutation. Yeah, unless you want to do a mutation, you you pick what you want. All right. Okay, so uh, you figure you're you're like just minutes behind him at this point, 
and they continued uh, to the west, directly west. So um, you've explored this one. I need to mark that as explored. Um, yeah, so where do you want to... Okay. They're still heading west, and so are we. Okay, give me, uh, go ahead and give me another scout roll to make sure you, you're keeping on track with them. I'm going to give you a plus one because they're not doing a very good job of covering up their tracks either. Nice. Yeah, you, you got a bead on them. Now go ahead and do a uh, find the path roll. I think a final speed will allow us to catch them. Okay. Yep. You're gonna you're gonna have them at this point. Let's see here. Ooh. Put that paste right there. Got that right there. I am taking the furry power. Okay. So. Um, yeah. All right. We are going to catch up to them. So give me a second here while I get this ready for this. Okay. Everybody give me, I, are you going to, as you're, you're gaining ground on them, are you going to try to be sneaky, sneaky about stuff or not worry about it? So what's the consensus? I'm the we're sneaking. Uh, oh, let's see here. As much as I would prefer to sneak, I don't think our group's really suited for it. I would just expect a fight. Unless you guys want to try it. Does anyone else have any other comments? Um. No, I'm all right. Um. Or are you just going to chase him down? That's what it seems like. We're chasing him down. Okay. We'll get you all on the map here. I think I've got everybody. So you've been following these, uh, the remnants of railroad tracks for a ways now, and uh, you kind of come, it's been going up a hill, and now you're coming down the, the other end of the hill, and as you do, you spot this group with your two carts, and their their backs are to you at this point, and they haven't noticed you, but they've been, they're trudging along. So, what would you like to do? It was fun. Okay, so you got you got this group out in front of you there, uh, and for purposes of this map, um, they're showing sixty feet away, but they're actually uh, roughly triple that. They're like one hundred and eighty feet away. Okay. Well, oh. well, I still don't. I, th I think the consensus was guns a blazing. So, so each square is uh, is fifteen feet. So you can move basically two squares is all you can move in a in a shot here. So, oh. are you gonna just kind of balls out, start running at them, or are you gonna shoot? I have no range. I can just give people bullets. I only have a slingshot. What's the range on the slingshot? Short. Short. Short is about 90, Short. 60 to 90 feet, so... Yeah, you'll have to get a little closer for that. Should we roll, short, roll for initiative right now? 
Well, they haven't they spotted haven't... you yet. They're they're. I'm wanting to see what you guys are gonna do. If you're gonna run at them, then I'm gonna get a chance to hear you and react. But if if you're gonna sh if somebody's gonna shoot, then you've got an opportunity to to take a shot, a freebie here. Mutt will shoot. Okay. And um, let's see. Make sure to. I'm only gonna do this one more time, and then the and then the chronicler needs to be the one to kind of keep track of it. But make sure to inspire when you get the chance. And that's that's not a jab. That's just me being like, you know, that's that's you. Yeah. So. Um, all right. Gonna do any inspire? Yeah. Sure. Uh, give me one second. Oh, wait. Hold on real quick. I feel like people who are who have to get closer should get closer first. However you want to however you want to do it. Yeah. I'm gonna start running. Okay, I well, don't the first, say we can run. Hang on. Uh before you run, Mutt has already declared first that he's gonna fire, so um Let me, me... inspire real quick. All right, gotcha. Okay, that's a fail. Unless you want to push right. it. Um, sure, I'll push it. Okay, you're going to take temporary damage, but it does give you mutation points. Wonderful. Okay, so you're going to take... Uh, you rolled too many dice. You need to roll that again. You can't, you can't re-roll the... The oh. uh, the one on the uh, base dice there the hazmat oh, symbol okay. so you got to go four four base dice and two skill dice. Okay, so give me yep. one second. No problem. That right? Yep. So you go. Okay, so you're going to take two points of damage to your empathy. Okay. And but I... you do get a you do get a plus. Uh, automatic success, Mutt. Let's see your roll. You're at a minus one for your roll here because of the range. Okay. You can push that if you want. Uh, I don't think I'm going to push. Okay. So with a crack of the rifle, uh, you do hit because of your inspired uh, one there. That's going to be two points of damage. And let me check here. That's what I thought. You uh, shooting this guy right here, this one that you just bound, pinged? Yeah, shooting the one I pinged. Okay. Shoot him and dropped him like a rock. Um, all right. The rest of them all turn at the shocking sound of the crack of the rifle and basically drop everything they're carrying and bolt in a flat out run okay so let's do an initiative to see who's going to get to go first and where and all that good stuff because they are they've decided they don't want to be here i tried i was waiting but i'm still not seeing anything two plus my heavy really reloading? agility so that'd be six have you tried reloading the just the page? Just the page, okay. Let me see here. Because roll twenty does occasionally mess up like that. Hey, I got a six, so that's an eight. Wait, and I got a nine. Yeah. Let me just try turning off the dynamic off lighting completely. Any luck? All right, now I see something. Oh, huh, okay. See some dead trees. Everybody else good? Yeah, I'm good, yeah. but I'm not on the initiative. Uh, I got a nine. Okay, who was that talking? Anna. Okay, boy, we got to figure out why you can't get on the initiative thing here. I don't know. 
I know how to do it. Nine? As the DM. Nine. Okay. Who else are we... Do we got everybody? I'm about to make my own initiative, but I can't select my token. Really? This is starting to get frustrating. Yeah. Because it's got control by Thorn on here. Um, let me just put all players on it. See, try oh, now. Yeah. Cause I'm not on it anymore. Okay, what's your total? Total would be seven. Perfect. Because okay. I rolled three, four. Eight. You gave me Thorn. I'm Tau. I'm Cherry. What? So I have control of Thorn. Uh, no, I've got I've got where Thorn anybody can look at Thorn there. So try Cherry now. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. I think we got everything lined out. So, let's see. This is uh, uh, Junkyard goes first. Dog move faster or the same as a person? I'm going to say the dog can probably go ahead and move a full three hexes in this. And it's just kind of average, so about 45 feet, roughly. Uh, All right. I'll just move them you. Actually, you can move a double move if you want. Move another three. No, I don't think I want to get too far ahead of us. Okay. All right. So, Anna. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna double move. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna double move. I already calculated it out. Uh, it would be something like here. Okay. That's all I can do. I don't have any range. That's fine. Okay, we are... They are running for all they're worth. Scarsguard? Did we lose Scarsguard? <laughs> I'd say Scarsguard is going to move. Probably a double move. And Thorn. Yes. Um, I don't think I can hit any of them from here, so I'm just going to move as much as I can. Okay. Which is... Oh, wait, I could use my uh, mutant ability because I'm a sprinter. There you go. Ooh. And what does that give you? Double your movement speed during one turn... Okay. Um, yeah, that just that just costs one MP, so I'm gonna use that. And then roll a d6 I to to make sure you don't get a one. There's no backfire. Perfect. So you'll be able to move I 30, 60, 120. Okay. Um, give me one second to figure out how much that is. 120, you said. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Squares. I still have that thing equipped. Okay, so like that's here. Like right here. Oh, okay. Nice. There. Scarsguard, you back with us? Oh, I got a text from him. Okay. So, let's see here. Remy? Um... I think a Dolmo just gives me two, so I should be able to get right there. <clears throat> so that was about 30 feet. You could actually, if you're going to do double move, you can move another 30. Okay. We're kind of kind of loose and goose on this this map for our movement. Because I'm trying to represent the, the, grid, the big distance on it. Mutt, your turn. I'll just uh, 
Haul alongside junkyard. Okay. Go ahead and move your token. Uh, Cherry. Hey. So. I guess I have to move too. How much can I move? Uh, if you want to make a double move, it'll be 60 feet. Four squares. Roughly four squares. Yeah, four squares. Back to the dog. He will continue to move forward. Um, I think I'll let him double move and stick with Skarsgård. Okay. Yeah, he'll be able to get up in here. Okay. Anna? All right, uh, just let me check something. Ooh, I forgot to change the... Uh, <laughs> you're not in the sewers as anymore. As I, sorry, no a way. question. As long as I... Yeah. A question. GM, uh, as long as I can see them, I can use my mutation. Right. Well, it depends on the mutation. Some of them you have to be within arm's reach uh, to let use. Let me them. check this out. I let me check this out. Let me check the book. I didn't. I for some reason didn't put a description. I got pathokinesis. So give me a second. Pathokinesis. Oh dang it! No, wait. They have to be near. So yeah, I can't do that. All right. All right. If that's all right, yeah. If that's the case, then. I'll have no range, so one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to move four. And that'll end it. Okay. We're going to continue to try to boogie woogie down the road here. They're leaving the carts, right? Yes, they left the carts. Scars guard. Oh, nice. Double move. I'm behind one, and I'm going to stab him through the chest. Thorn? What would you like to do, Thorn? Um, I would like to... Uh, could I actually run up to this... Uh, to the... Lo the one who's falling behind and stab him with my spear? Uh, let's see what the distance is here. Mm, it takes a double move technically to get there unless you've got... A point that you can spend on your rotation again. Yeah, sure. Okay, spend the point. Go ahead and roll the dice. Give me one second. D six. Yep. Okay, Five. so yeah, that puts you right behind him, and then stabby stabby. Yep. Uh, it's time to impale a man. Yeah. <laughs> you guess. Maybe a maybe, maybe a half. Maybe a half a man, sure. only about only about four and a half feet tall. Yeah, true. I forgot to do the roll button. I don't think any of that hits, right? Nope, but you can push it if you want. I'm going to push it. Okay, roll all those dice again. Ooh. Okay, so the spear breaks, and Damn you take it. one point one point of damage to your strength. But you okay. do hit for two points of damage. Nice. And wait, yeah, I did get a bang. Wait, does that mean I get a mutation point? I forget. Uh, you get one mutation point. Nice. Yep. And. Uh, and yeah, but the spear breaks, basically break it off in this thing's back. And uh, it's, uh, yeah. So, all right. Yeah, Ready. I don't know how to do What would you like to do, Remy? I was eating ice cream. Um... Mm. Yes. What is this? Is this like a little hill or something? It's just a little, yeah. Maybe it, maybe knee high. Take 
take a look at these guys? Mm-hmm. Like, you said they were like four and a half feet tall? They're they're not all four and a half feet tall, but most of them are well under five feet. Are these children? That's what my next, my next question was about to be. We killing children. Are these the same outfits as the guys from before we killed? They are, they are dressed very similarly to the uh, ones that you were uh, at the sewer area there. Uh, that were, were trying to get in the sewer last session. Mm-hmm. They're dressed very, very similar to that. Whoa. Uh, so they're zone ghouls of children? Yeah, they're, they're, they're zone ghouls, yeah. Dressed like zone ghouls from okay. what you've, you've heard. Oh no! We're, can I? This might take my action to do. Can I look like where they're going to see if there's like any sign of civilization in the distance, like why uh, they're running to? Go ahead and uh, give me a uh, scout roll. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Scout is. Yeah, I'm not pushing that. I need that stat in specific. <laughs> so let me look at the map here real quick. Um, let's see where you're at exactly. In the distance, you estimate probably five or six miles away, you see smoke. Okay, I'm not going to call that out right off. That just tells me that we don't need to go any further this way because that will be a lot of trouble. We're probably going around there. Okay, so you're that is that your turn then? <gasps> I guess. Yeah, I'm not shooting them. They seem just to be running at this point. No. All right, well, Mutt. Well, Another double move. Um, Cherry. All right. Uh, I don't think I'm close to anyone yet, so I have to double move again. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Mutt, uh, junkyard rather. Junkyard do another double move. Okay. Basically six squares total. Anna? Yes. Yeah, second verse, same as the first. That's okay. gonna move another like four Double moving again? Uh, yeah, it's like four squares. Okay. Alright. Our turn to go again. Scars guard. Double move. Okay. Chronicler. Oh, um, um, I'm wondering if I use one movement, will I be able to shoot at them with my uh, scrap pistol? I don't hear anyone speaking, so, I mean, I don't know. Oh, sorry. I had myself <laughs> muted. Oh, I okay. To, I, had to, I had to blow my nose, and I muted the mic and didn't get a turn. So, yeah, you got if you can actually shoot from there. Scrap Pistol has a, a short range, and that's out to 90 okay. feet, and you're 75 feet here. Uh, okay. If you want to get under that, you've got to get within 60 feet, which is just basically a negligible move. Uh, but you do have to move closer if you want to get to that point yeah i'll shoot um i i forgot how to ping how do i uh you um, right or le- yeah left click and point to the thing and then press the left click button kind of hold it you want to shoot this one or this one um, the first one, you... This one here. Okay. I can't. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna roll to attack with my scrap pistol. Okay. Roll. Alright, that's a miss. Unless you want to push that. Right. Uh, I'll push it. Okay, you're actually technically at a minus one also. So you take, uh, take one of the base dice off there. So just roll three dice and the one gear dice. Got it. Give me one second. Hmm. Pistol breaks and you take a temporary damage. But you do get one point of mutation. So many stuff. 
I do. I mean, I, I don't have any weapons, though. That's the problem. Okay. Um, I also don't know how to take weapons off of my... um. It, well, it's repairable at this point. Oh, yeah, good point. I'll be able to fix it. Awesome. Actually, here's actually a good question. My spear. Did, like, the spear tip break? Yeah, it's like the the tip, the end broke off in, in your victim there. Damn it, I was hoping it was just like, like the handle broke in half. Okay. Remy, your turn. Uh, so, after realizing what's happening and like seeing where they're probably going and seeing what's going on. Guys, I think these are kids. Let them get away. Come on. Okay, you hear Remy yelling, stop, disengage kind of thing. I think they may be young people. That's your, you're going to hold the rest of your turn, Remy? They are actively sprinting as fast as they can as a giant bear person and other people intend on murdering them or chasing them. I am not shooting at them. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Mutt? I will uh, double... We'll move to try to keep up with uh, Junkyard. Okay. Oh. Cherry? Okay. Uh, you hear I'll Remy yelling. Him. Yeah. she like back up. But keep, keep her way towards the carts. Like Ooh, yeah, there. Okay. Uh, junkyard. Uh, junkyard will um, will just double move towards the uh, cart. Okay. Anna. Oh. Oh. Uh... That's perfect. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to double move to this body. Second. Okay. Second. I did the distance, so this should work. I'm going to double move up to this body. Should more like up here. And uh, I just, as a free action, just... We didn't see their faces, so can I just like pull back? Can I just pull the head up? To confirm yeah, so, if, if we did yeah, actually kill him. Yeah, you've got, got him up. You get up close and you, you roll the body over. and um, they, They're wearing a mask and some sort of... It looks like kind of a gas mask thing. And you, you pull it off. And the first An thing you notice is it's, it's this, this really uh, gnarled up looking face. It's... Um, um, you know, obviously, radiation has taken a toll on this this person. Um, but as you, you're kind of looking at these cold eyes that are looking at you, uh, you definitely get the impression that this is maybe not a child, but certainly uh, a teenager or someone that's not fully adult yet. Yeah, Anna takes two steps back and just begins vi and just begins, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, uh, we just killed, uh, we. Wow. Oh, uh, that's that's What's that? Oh, wow, that is. It's a good thing that's not on my conscience, because I didn't get to hit anyone. Oh, <laughs> uh, not on my con. Technically, I didn't hit anyone either. I just feel bad about, uh. Bro, you got one with a spear, though, right? No, I don't think he was the one that got the, the spear hit. I'm, I got the spear. Someone got a rifle kill. Yeah, I think that was that the was opening bad. volley. Yeah. Okay, so I, I take it everybody's going to disengage at this point. It's just hyperventilating at this point. No, I thought I'd burn a point for huge and fleet-footed and continue without going after. <laughs> okay, let's see the point. <laughs> I don't have, I don't have two points for that. Just, just throwing that out there. All right, so 
Nobody, nobody's continuing pursuit is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm taking the courts. Okay. They, they continue to run and they don't stop the, the four that you let go. Uh, they dropped everything. I mean, they, they went light immediately and best you can tell, kept the clothes on their back and that was it. Um, so you find all of your stuff, plus they dumped, uh, each of them had uh, uh, some weaponry as well. They each had a knife. So there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, what is it, six knives. Let me just mm -hmm. type this out here. Because they basically dumped, the, the, they had like a belt, like a leather belt that had their gear on it, and they shucked that. So six knives and two pis scrap pistols. Ooh. And one. I'm, I'm just going to use one of my mutant points to calm myself down. I should. Uh, you don't have to do that, but um, uh, to you don't have to spend that. I feel like in this situation it makes sense because. Well, the mutant point is, is we just killed two children. Young have, adult, oh, young I'll young adults like is four. probably young adults is probably a better term oh, than okay, children. Then I, okay, then I'm yeah. slightly less freaked out. Yeah, it's I, these. This I, isn't like five and six year olds. Yeah, this isn't like five and six year olds. We're talking like probably between the ages of twelve and sixteen. Is That's what you know, we're doing. Not That's not great. Great. But it's better than it's you know, children, children. Um, not children, children. <laughs> okay, so then I wouldn't use the mutant points. And a still bit shaken, walks over to. Yeah, walks over to the chronicler. Can you hand me your stuff? I can fix it. Um, I just now, pick what, up one of the. I just there, pick up one of the scrap pistols and use that instead of the broken one. But yep. I still give... Uh, I'll fix your spear, though. Oh, yeah, my spear. Yeah, I, I hand them over my spear, though. Okay. To fix that. Uh, so, it, if you... Narratively, if you want to say, you know, I go... I, I have to kind of get myself away from everybody and sit down for a little bit. I understand that. Um, and that, that makes sense for your yeah. character to do that. Then go ahead and do that before you just jump in repairing gear. Um, as it stands, okay, then, you're, yeah, you're going to have to start talking about making camp anyway. So... Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, then probably. I just do probably. You know, in a way, in a way, actually, like, and taking the spear and like just going to to a corner of the desert, just going, and just working on it is her way of calming down. I I could see that. I could definitely yeah. see that. So, um, okay, before we make the rolls for the all, all the equipment, um, uh. Go ahead and uh, if you're taking one of the knives or scrap pistols or scrap rifle, go ahead and put that on your character sheet. Um, like I say, you do get all 71 days of the food left that, that was down in the in the crypt, plus your stuff back that's on the carts. So you're good there. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, actually, uh, let's see, you're going to also find... Uh, 12 rations of water also. Ooh. All right. So, um, that's kind of group stuff there to be doled out as needed. Uh, Anna, let's go ahead and see your uh, jury rig roll to repair the, the uh, spear first. All right. Oh. Um, can also, real quickly, uh, are the rations that they also took from the sewers, are they also in the carts? Yes. Yes. All 71 are there. Awesome. Yes. All right. Uh, so Anna, go ahead and make the, the jury rig on the, yeah. oh, uh oh, oh, wait, no. Before it had anything selected. Nice. Okay. So the spear is is repaired to a, the plus one. Okay. 
And now on his pistol. Wait, but doesn't it only pistol. last like for an hour? Uh, that's doesn't it only lasts for an hour. It's... So I only I only do that when you're making something from complete scratch. Okay. In this case, you're repairing uh... a, a weapon that was damaged during a fight. Uh, basically, every success gives gives a plus one back up to the 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 thing's maximum. Okay. Yeah. Also, but so. yeah. Also, the chronicler didn't want their didn't want their scrap pistol pistol fix. They said that they would use use the one they picked off the young person. Okay. So what I would do if I were you as the as the gearhead is I would make a notation that you have parts for a scrap pistol. Add that to my equipment, but yeah, Anna's just like sort of away from it all. Yep. But that's that's it's something that's that tr a tradable item at some point. Again. Okay. Also, I, I, under, I understand. I understand. Yeah. I was trying to do a roleplay thing, but yeah. Uh, sorry. Go yeah. go ahead. I, I get you. I get you on the role playing. No, I just want to say like. No, I just want to say she was just away from everyone, essentially super gluing the spear back together. <laughs> back together, decompressing. I get it. Yeah. When Mutt finally catches up to everybody, you know, he walks up over the, the one he dropped and looks at it, kind of shakes his head and says, well, it was a good shot anyway. Gotcha. The zone's a rough place. Kill or be killed. Yep. All right. So, uh, all right. We're, we're to a point where you're going to probably need to start thinking about camping. Um, and, uh, this zone, do we have this one showing yet? Okay. That's good. Um, I'm going to say this is probably a good spot for us to, to end the yeah. session for the night, uh, because we're, we're going to go into a, a nighttime camping situation. And, uh, when we come back, we'll talk about, uh, what rations you need to use up for the evening to heal stuff up and kind of do some housekeeping when we get back and we'll decide wh where you want to go from there. Okay. Uh, cause you've got some decisions to make now that you've got a potential something in front of you about, f you know, five or six miles out maybe. Okay. So you're going to have to discuss how you want to head. All right. Um, so let's do experience points for the evening thank you for joining us for another episode we look forward to seeing you next time on mutant year zero